Like I said, it have, has every single hazard in it. This cave is dangerous. And, oh, oh, hello. I knew that was there. I knew it. Yeah, so one of the things that I'm going to have to start doing is proofing caves or scouting them. I have to run through and make sure that any traps that are going to be set off are set off by me when I have the foresight to avoid them. There's another one. Now, one of these traps can actually be in the form of a Wallywog, which we actually... I believe we saw that in... Uh, well, actually, yesterday, yeah. We saw, and sometimes it can be wog poles, okay. And the wog poles are completely useless. I won't even bother with them. They can just hop around. They don't do anything. They're basically goldy. They actually are goldy, okay. <sighs> okay. This is really stressful. I'm just going to scout this cave out. There are a bunch of wog poles. This guy does not have a treasure, but he's near one. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, barely. Barely avoided death there. Nope. Oh, well, one died. I hate walk pulls so much. They're, it's just really hard to judge distance. Okay. I, I'm i obviously doing something wrong. I shouldn't be whistling them. Yeah. Okay, I'm actually killing them by whistling them off of the wog, the Wally Wog, so I need to be careful of that. It's good to know. Alright, let's get this out of the way. There's probably a treasure in- or not a treasure, a trap in here. Nope! No trap. And anything else? No. There's just a watery blow hog. And some wog poles. And more wog poles. Okay. So now we can take the rest of the troop through here. Throw some blue Pikmin at this watery blow hog. This is the first time we're seeing one of them. It just blows out water. That's all it does. It doesn't do anything special besides that. And just throwing a couple of, of blue Pikmin on it can be enough to distract it. Ooh, a little bit of lag there. Oh, this is going to be bad. Yeah. No, no, no. Water. Whistle them. Whistle them. No, no. They're drowning. Emergency. Pikmin are suffering. If you blow your whistle with B, you may be able to help them. Yes, thank you. No, stop drowning, stop drowning. Are they all good? Yes. Yes. No, stop drowning. I love how I'm telling them to stop drowning. Like, they can actually just say, Oh, you know what? You're right. That was that was so foolish of me. I shouldn't have been drowning. You know what? I'm just gonna go now. And that's what this guy said before he died. Die. Thank you. Okay. Is that guy dead? Yeah, he's dead. Alright, you know what? I might as well carry some of these enemies back. It's not like it it slows me down. And I can always take Pikmin back. Uh, or I mean I can always uh I can always go into the cave and not have to worry about whistling the Pikmin. That's that's one thing that's really nice. They'll automatically come with you. Name the Merciless Extractor. That's actually a very apt name for what it does. And many of the younger members of my audience are like, what is that? What do you That's weird. Why what is that thing? That is for making lemon juice, or, I guess, orange juice, or my favorite, grapefruit juice. Oh, Wally Wong! I knew it! I knew it. I, I say I knew it every time there was a trap, but I just know that the game can't be nice. Come on. Oh, hello. Throw him on the Wally Wong. Please die. There, he's dead. Stupid Wally Wogs. Falling from the ceiling. <laughs> His health bar not, not disappearing. Okay, that is all. The, those are all the treasures of this floor. Let's just leave all the wog poles to asphyxiate, I guess, if that's what they're doing. Somehow they're somehow they were healthier up in the sky than on the ground. <laughs> and we move on to sub level two. There's the poison. Okay. Okay, what are we gonna do? I need to stop saying okay. I did that a lot in the first Pikmin game. It's mainly just because because I'm nervous. Pikmin makes me nervous. Let's grab the white Pikmin and just kind of run around, clearing this out. There's an orange bulb orb, another Duracell battery. There's the the cave entrance. 
and a trap. Okay, I need to supervise that one because it's so close to a an orange bulb orb that it might be alerted. And no, oh, it seems to be pretty pretty preoccupied with sniffing the ground. I don't know what that's about. Oh, hello. This is one of my favorite enemies. This is a jelly float. What it will do is it will suck up Pikmin into its body and then keep them there and slowly, very slowly, digest them. And after a certain amount of time, then the Pikmin will die. It's actually a pretty peaceful enemy. It, it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't actively try to hunt you down. It, it has a very small radius of sight. It just kind of wants to mind its own business, use as little energy as possible. Just like normal jellyfish, actually. It just wants to subsist, I guess. Which makes me kind of sad to bring it, have to bring it down, but I, I do have to. Uh, I believe it, yeah, I can weigh this one down just like I can the withering blowhog. And then, down it goes. It deflates and it's gone. Doesn't drop any body, it just disappears. It's kind of a sad enemy, I think. I mean, it it just has such sad noises and it's slow moving and it's a very serene enemy. This entire area, I mean, just listen to the music. Just listen to the music as I defeat this enemy. And it's just so serene. I've actually played this this song quite a few times when just like taking a shower. Oh boy. Okay. And it it definitely uh, is... You know those songs that almost feel like they're a theme song of a normal activity? I mean, if life had theme songs, this would be the theme song of taking a shower. It's it's great. It's very relaxing, refreshing. Why am I talking about this? Let's just let's just move on and get these these enemies. I don't know why I'm I decided to take the enemies, but I did. Also, I put none of the Pikmin onto this. You know what? You guys, you don't need that. Get on this. I did a very bad job multitasking. Now I'm actually going to have to spend time doing this instead of throwing a couple Pikmin on it and forgetting about it. Mild soap, and it is the sud generator. Work on that. And Louie, you stay here. You watch them. And there's our dural cell battery, part of a set. Once again, this is another uh, item, not item, treasure, that is reskinned in other versions of the game. Durable energy cell. Also, that's, that's actually hilarious. It calls it durable energy cell because it's a D battery makes sense it makes sense and it fits all right now that we are done with this floor I can put the rest of the get on I get over here I can put the rest of the Pikmin on this gate not bridge hopefully they can do it pretty quickly maybe oh yeah they they're they got that down instantly it was a dark gate but it apparently has a pretty low health pool so Sub-level three of the shower room. It's a big one. Okay. What is this? What's in store for us here? Water dumple. Over there. And nothing else. Okay, let's just run through. Oh, hello. That is a greater jelly float. It Not only is it huge, but... It isn't limited to just sucking up Pikmin. Oh, hello, another new enemy. It isn't limited to just sucking up Pikmin. That thing will get captains as well. That's right. It can suck up the captains and carry them around. It's not good. Especially if it's in a, a mob of enemies, then it can pretty easily suck up the captain and make it so you can't actually save your Pikmin from dying. It's uh, it's not good. There are a lot of enemies that aren't bad on their own, but when comboed with other enemies, they can spell doom for everything. And that is one of them. It's not a good enemy to be paired with other other things. Is there a treasure here? 
or is there anything here? There's a water dumble. No, there's nothing here. All right. I guess we'll move on. Is there no anything here? Really? Normally they store treasures in there, but I guess this this map didn't support that. Huh. Come on, kill him. Yeah, he's dead. All right, where are the jelly floats? Did I lead him? I led the, the greater one over there, which makes things easier. Allows me to single it out. And there's actually one trap behind that gate, so I'll, I'll just let that happen. And it isn't actually bad to let Pikmin be sucked up into the, a jelly float, because you get him right back. Oh, it, oh, it climbed over it. Okay. Did that off screen because they couldn't. Oh, there's the greater one. Come on. Kill this one. Use the C stick to get them away. Okay, this one's dead. This one's dead. Oh, I need to be careful of this one. It's so big. No, 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 no. Oh, that was close. Bring it to the ground. Yeah, yeah, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Yeah, it's almost dead. It's almost dead. It's dead. <sighs> and that's a greater jelly float. Thankfully, I was able to isolate it from other things. Is there a treasure over here? No, but there's an egg. I, I do want to take out the egg. Sometimes those can have nectar in them. Sometimes they, they can be traps, which this one will probably be a trap. So I'll be ready to run away. No, it's fine. Okay. Oh, it's pretty harmless. Neat. Alright, anything else? I, I knew there was a shell over this way. Guarded by a water dumple. We'll swarm him. Oh, and a, uh, a hermit crawmad, I believe. These guys are a little bit tedious. Oh, of course. I, I hate it when there's a cutscene because it makes me feel like my Pikmin could be dying. Even though I know it freezes time, I still feel like my P Pikmin could be dying right now. Mirrored stage. That actually makes a lot of sense. It does look like a stage, like an amphitheater. Okay, Hermit Crawdad will lunge at Pikmin, and if I just dodge it, then it is vulnerable as it goes back to its its den. There's the cave. Uh, let's separate Pikmin out here, because I need the blues. Okay, these are just blues? Yeah, they're just blues. Okay, kill the water dumple, and get on this. Nice. All right, now, Louie, let's just put all of the, our Pikmin onto these treasures. And the rest onto this. This is, oh, this is a lid. It's a can lid. All right. Interesting. I love how many treasures there are here. It just, it, they're, they're so, like, not valuable, you know? There, there are hardly any things that you look at them and be like, oh, man, that's, that's a great find. Half the time, it's just a, you know, a, a, pop can lid or a shell and it's not actually good stuff it's just junk but it's still valuable to them it's apparently worth a lot but it just it doesn't do anything it's it's worthless I think there are a couple things that are worth actual money maybe some of the gems that we got last or yesterday in the Bullblax Kingdom all right, what is this? The Vorpal Platter. Okay. And the other one is... The... The shell. The scrumptious shell. It's hard to say. All right, switch over to Olimar. And go into the cave. I love the ability to do that. They just all the Pikmin come with you. It makes things so simple. I don't have to ferry them back through everything. I don't have to throw them up onto that little plateau so that I can avoid the water. I can just go right back in the cave. Oh, boy. This room, this floor is kind of scary, actually. If... No, okay. This isn't what I remember... There's a certain cave that has a floor like this, and it's terrifying, but I, I believe this one's fine. 
There's nothing there. There are some pipes. So we're actually in the the pipe system of this shower room. And that is oh, what are they called? What are, what are they called? A it's a candy pop bud, but it's a special one. That is a queen candy pop bud. Just looked it up. It has alternating colors and wait for it. There. It'll produce up to, I think, 15 or 10 of the color of Pikmin you throw into it. Obviously, since I have, I had 96 Pikmin, it'll only produce four, but it can actually be a way to ne Oh, hello. Oh, there are a bunch of butterflies. I need to throw, get them all. Yeah. And yeah, the, it's a good way to produce Pikmin while in a cave. Uh, and now these, these butterflies that are flying around, those are unmarked spectralids. They're harmless, but they will produce the a, a spray or a nectar of the color that they are. So they can be ultra spicy or ultra bitter or just normal nectar. And now I just got some ultra, ultra bitter spray. There's a geyser over there. So I, I can exit the cave if I want to, but why would I want to? Okay, what's over here? Is there a treasure over there? Whoa, hello. A lot of things. The Spectralids really started lagging the game. Okay, yeah, there's nothing, there's no treasures over there. There's just kind of a maze of pipes, which is really cool. But there's a treasure somewhere. Oh, there it is. There it is. And this is one of the treasures that has a regional difference, I believe. In different versions of the game, this is a different color. Because it can look like a, a weed leaf, but it is not actually a weed. It is a maple leaf, a Japanese maple leaf. And I know this not only because, you know, I researched the game, but also because I have a Japanese maple. And that is the only treasure on this floor. All right, we're just going to wait for that treasure to come, to go back to base. There it is. It's kind of a rest area floor. A boreal frippery, frippery. That sound was kind of distorted there. It's always nice though that they give that that music cue that you can tell that it's a rest area floor. I don't think they ever compromise that trend either. They never give you that music where it's not a rest floor. There are all, actually, no, that's not true. There are one or two floors that have the music, but they have an enemy, but the enemy that has cannot kill Pikmin. So technically they d they never do compromise that, that trend. Okay, come on, you can just die. I don't need any of your garbage. All right, which way do I want to go? Uh, can I look at my map? Let's go the opposite way from the hole. Actually, yeah, let's go this way. No, this is towards the hole. Okay. I want to go the opposite way. Alright. You can die. And we'll go kind of the back route. I need to watch out for a trap, though. There are probably going to be traps. We haven't seen one in a while, which means we're kind of due. Okay, let's wait for the fire to come back out and storm it with everyone. Neat. It's kind of glitching right there. You see that? The, the particles are appearing much higher than they should for the whistle. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Well, oops. You can't, no game is perfect. Wallywog, you can die in a fire. Come jump one more time. Jump one more time. And swarm while he's down. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Oh, boy. How many did he kill? What? Okay. Olimar went down. Olimar went down. I lost Pikmin to a Wallywog. Okay.
You know what? Okay. I keep saying okay. I need to play safer. This has become increasingly obvious to me. Not only did I just lose a lot of Pikmin, were any of them whites? None of them were white. Okay. See, the moment you lose someone who's white, you realize that stuff just got real. Any other color is fine. I'm not racist at all. Also, this place has no purpose. This area of the cave has no purpose at all. There's no treasure. <sighs> but I need to play a little bit more safe. This area can kill you and literally just did. It literally just downed Olimar. That's the first time a captain has been felled in battle. I don't know how that happened because as far as I could tell, I was only hit once technically. Once by a by the jumping animation of the Wallywog, which will knock you down but doesn't really hurt you. And once by the fall. So by all intents and purposes, I was just insta-killed by a a uh, Wallywog. So I'm one one foot in the grave, actually, because Louie is Louie, and I only have one captain now. So I can't even switch between captains. Oh, hello. I can't even switch between captains. So I need to be much more careful from here on out and actually respect this game because I have not been respecting Pikmin thus far. I've just been kind of going through it, and today and yesterday are good examples of how I, careful I need to be. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. I was kind of worried that the, that a Pikmin was hit there, and that's why it was giving me a cutscene. Yoo-hoo! Chocolate-flavored beverage. Pondering emblem. Okay, you get him. Nice. All right. He's dead. We'll kill him really quickly. Bring him down. Punch him for added effect. Nice. <sighs> I'm, I'm really kicking myself. That, that happened. Oh, okay, you're fine. <laughs> I saw a shadow and I got freaked out. But it's it's just, uh, it's just a jelly float. I can bring him down quickly. In fact, I don't even need to really look at him. Oh, no, nope, fire. Oh, that's still going. Oh, I thought I brought that down. Okay, well, apparently not. And now it's down. Bring that down. And let's see, what else do I need to do? There's him, but I don't even think I need to carry anything that way, so... 20 Pikmin on this. As they kind of warp into the ground, okay. And not enough on that. Got it. So I need to go grab some more. I do have a couple more yellows. Or blues, I mean. Not enough to carry that, but I do have some. And if I could whistle just one, that's still not enough. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Get over here. Get over here. Get over here. Yellow Pikmin. Yellow Pikmin. Everything is going wrong. Uh, I missed the yellow Pikmin that was in there. He's not dead, but it does mean I need to be more careful. Uh, let's just swarm that. Alright. So, <laughs> what I've learned is that I do need to be... De I definitely need to be more careful. I'm letting Pikmin die. I'm letting Pikmin drown. Get up here. Get up there. Come on, carry it so they can get onto the ground. There we go. And I haven't even begun to bring that gate down. But I, I will. I will. Once I get these treasures and once I'm not freaking out because I kind of am. Uh, endless re re repository. Man, I'm, I'm still kind of reeling from losing Olimar. I mean... I haven't even come close to losing a captain yet, and here I just lost a captain, almost instantly. And it's it's crazy how quickly Pikmin can take you by surprise, and how brutal it can be. I mean, Pikmin 1 was kind of scary, but that was also because I was alone. And I didn't have days to just build up Pikmin, but now, I'm going into caves, not building up Pikmin. Also, some of them are trying to go through the wall, okay. And I'm not spending days to build up Pikmin, I'm just going straight into caves, and I... Probably tomorrow, I will spend a day just building up numbers. Getting sprays, because I have barely any. I have a laughable amount of sprays. And I'll just spend a day kind of chillaxing, because I have that right. It's day seven, I think, and I'm not 
you know, I haven't spent time doing that. So I, I'll probably do that and have a chill day tomorrow. Man, it would have been so easy just to swim across the river, but like I said... Oh! Yeah, let's... Let's not. Let's not do that. Let's not kill my kill me with snowballs. Uh, you guys. Just staring into Molly's eyes. Trying to read her movements. It's a delicate dance that I'm dancing right now. Uh... Oh, okay. 